Okay, today I'm going to show you how to change your default language. Um, so as you can see right here, we're going to go to hano.com because it has a multi-language pack in it. So you go to it, it's selected on English. You can see everything is clearly in English. Um, if you go up to Firefox preferences and you go to the content, go over to the content tab here and go to the bottom here to languages, choose that. Um, and all I have right now is English as a selected uh, language. Now we can add languages by selecting this bar and go down to the language that you want to select and let's go to Korean. Let's add that to our list and now you can move it down the list to see what one you want in preference you know to come up first as priority. So let's go OK Let's close that and let's just uh, let's reload Hotmail. See now it's all in Korean. Um, so if you want to change your your basic language, um, your priority language rather, um, you know that's that's one way to definitely do it. Um, but there are some issues with this. For instance, if you go to eBay everything's still in English. There's no Korean whatsoever. Um, same thing if you go to apple.com. Everything's still in English. Um, however, if you type in any address and co.kr is for Korean, um, it'll bring you to that website's country and then their country code. So like co.jp would be Japan, uh, co.uk would be the UK, um, and there there are other ones, whatever the, the two the two letter or three letter uh, country code is for that that country. And you can look those up online and figure that out if you want to go to a specific website in a specific language. Uh, but to change your base language so that if the option is available uh, for that website, then you would want to do it in the Firefox preferences and actually change the base language to whatever sublanguage you want. And you can change these in preference too. So if I wanted to move this one down to the bottom, so if the website was only in Korean, it would show up in Korean, but otherwise if it had an English option, it would show up um, in English. So if I went to, you know, Hotmail again, it's all in English again. So, you know, that's something to kind of, you know, play around with. Uh, I hope you found it useful. Go out there and look at web pages in other languages.